and uh, we are live now. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone, again. Welcome with us in the second talk of today. Now we will have uh, Wei Chiao, the director of the Cross Geo Developer Relations, uh, with her uh, talk about unleash the power of AI with NVIDIA. Welcome, ma'am. You can start the, uh, your presentation now. Cool, thank you. Uh, uh, it's wonderful to be here. I'm Wei, I'm the director of uh, developer relations at, at the CrossGeo team at Anadia. A uh, little bit about myself. Uh, I started my career as an engineer, actually software engineer doing Linux board bring up. If you don't know what it is, basically porting Linux operating system to new hardware. It was not an easy task I had to deal with uh, zeros and ones a lot at the register level. Later on, I got bored and moved on to embedded application development, the mobile development. Um, throughout my years as an engineer, I noticed that there was this huge gap between what market required versus what engineering team built. So I decided to switch my career direction to developer relations in order to bridge the gaps in between. So, so far, I have been in developer relations for roughly 10 years now, worked for Samsung, ARM, now NVIDIA, mostly hardware companies. Uh, um, touched on different technologies, including mobile, VR, um, IoT, now AI, artificial intelligence. It was a terrific journey, and I would love to share how you can unleash the power of artificial intelligence with NVIDIA. So this is our agenda today. I will let you know who NVIDIA is, the role of artificial intelligence in business, and I will give you an introduction of NVIDIA hardware software solutions, as well as different use cases powered by NVIDIA. So first the question I want to ask you, what comes to your mind when you think of NVIDIA? I believe a lot of people still think about NVIDIA as gaming or rendering company. So frankly, NVIDIA started its journey with computer graphics back in 1993. We know that at this core, computer graphics is all about simulation, using mathematics and computer science to simulate the interactions of objects, light, and the material. 1999 was a milestone for NVIDIA. That was the time NVIDIA invented Graphics Processing Unit, GPU. GPU was designed for graphics rendering, but the scientists and researchers started to use GPUs to accelerate a range of scientific applications. Towards the end of 1999 to 2000, there was a movement called GPGPU, general purpose GPU computing. Basically, scientists and researchers try to utilize the parallel computing power of GPU to do mathematic scientific calculations. At that time, it was not straightforward. Scientists had to convert sine, cosine into problems that drew triangles or polygons in order to make it work. NVIDIA realized the opportunities and modified the GPU architecture to make it fully programmable. Also added support to high-level programming language like C, C++, Python. Later on, NVIDIA also created a programming model uh, called CUDA. So CUDA and the latest GPU platform bring parallel processing to general purpose computing. This redefined the computing. So the path of high performance computing and artificial intelligence innovation began to converge at, around that time. In 2009, AI pioneers realized that GPU chips could run neural networks in parallel. This discovery unlocked new possibility for artificial intelligence. To give you an example, traditional processors require several weeks to calculate all the cascading possibility in a neural network with 100 million parameters. With a cluster of GPUs, this could be done in one day. So now NVIDIA GPUs are used in embedded devices to laptops, workstations, supercomputers, all the way to the cloud infrastructure. Every step 
of the machine learning workflow from machine learning model training to inference can be accelerated by NVIDIA GPUs. So here are some accolades that NVIDIA garnered in the past years. You know, we are one of the most innovative companies on the planet. We invented a GPU, and the NVIDIA GPUs are powering up some of the most complex algorithms today, including quantum computing, healthcare and life science, autonomous machines, metaverse, um, generative AI. Not only GPU, NVIDIA also developed over 250 SDKs frameworks to help our developers and the customers to harness the parallel computing power of the GPU itself. So innovation is uh, in our ethos. NVIDIA is driving innovative solutions in artificial intelligence, supercomputing, and all the different arenas. And uh, uh, from market cap perspective, just to give you a perspective, NVIDIA's market cap surpassed Intel a couple of years ago, and now our market size is roughly three times as big as Intel. And we are the number 14 um, globally uh, from the market cap perspective. But if you look at the market cap list, uh, we are fueling all the companies ahead of us for their cloud infrastructure, data center, and a lot of AI uh, solutions. For example, Google, Microsoft, AWS, they all have an, an NVIDIA GPU instance powered uh, cloud services. Uh, Saudi, uh, Aramac, uh, Aramco, they're utilizing NVIDIA GPUs as well. Uh, Warma, their inventory management system is powered by NVIDIA GPU and our software. Um, so uh, NVIDIA's um, revenue last year was roughly 27 billion US dollars. We're a very lean company, although um, our market cap is big. Uh, we only have 22,000 employees. Uh, I, I remember I read one article uh, that NVIDIA, if we divide the market, uh, market cap um, by number of employees, uh, NVIDIA is um, probably the most efficient company. <laughs> so let's go ahead to talk about artificial intelligence. So what really unleashed the arrival of artificial intelligence? I would say there's three propellers behind this. First is big data. Uh, we all know that every intelligence has to be told. When we were kids, we have to see a dozen of pictures before the brains can tell a cat from a dog. So this is even more true for artificial in minds. Part of the AI breakthrough lies in the incredible avalanche of collected data, which provided the schooling that AI requires. The second propeller is where NVIDIA plays a significant role, parallel computing. We know that AI simulates human thinking, and the thinking is a parallel process. When we think, billions of neurons in our brains fire simultaneously. Similarly, a neural network consists of a lot of nodes. Each node imitates its neuron uh, in the brain, working with its neighbors, trying to make sense of the signal it receives. So the primary architecture of artificial intelligence software requires different processes to take place simultaneously. As you can tell, this is a deep parallel task. And because of GPU, we can run the machine learning algorithm in a parallel pattern. And the third propeller uh, behind the arrival of AI is advanced algorithm. With mind-blowing amount of data we are collecting and also accelerated the computing power, we can train larger machine learning models much faster. And the machine learning algorithms are getting more and more accurate. So like I mentioned, NVIDIA is not only a chip uh, inventor or manufacturer. On top of that, we provide a different software solutions to help you get the best mileage out of NVIDIA GPU. I will highlight two of them today, uh, slightly later. So before that, I want to play a IMAI video to help you understand NVIDIA's role in different industry verticals. I am an explorer. 
traveling across the Atlantic to unlock its mysteries. And back in time to understand the origins of the universe. I am a visionary, bringing sharper focus to researchers. and brilliant clarity to surgeons. I am a healer, making treatments as unique as every patient and giving new life the chance to thrive. I am a guardian, looking out for dangers around us. And in the depths below, I am a helper, enabling healthier, more sustainable crops. Bringing them to market faster. And preparing them for the table. I am a creator. Building virtual worlds to help robots learn faster and make our connections stronger. I am even an avatar and you can ask me any question. Who made this song? Ava used artificial intelligence to write this song and it was recorded by the London Symphony Orchestra. I am AI, brought to life by NVIDIA, deep learning, and brilliant minds everywhere. I hope you find the video um, inspiring. I was inspired every time when I watched it. So here is a, a list of uh, NVIDIA customers um, from different industry verticals. Of course, this is only a small portion of our customer database, but to just give you an idea of how many different verticals we are touching. So let's move on to talk about artificial intelligence in business. I'm quoting Andrew Yun, who I believe all you know is one of the pioneers in the AI landscape. So in his quote, he mentioned, it's difficult to think a major industry that AI will not transform. This includes healthcare, education, transportation, retail, communication, and agriculture. This a surprisingly clear path for AI to make a big difference in all these industries. So if you think about the operating model of uh, all the top companies out there, they are all leveraging a digital operating model and harness the power of data utilizing artificial intelligence. So uh, I will use Amazon as an example. Um, I remember I was reading this article back in 2002, Jeff Bezos sent out a memo to all his employees. The subject line of his memo was Bezos mandate. You can Google Bezos mandate and you can find out the full email. So basically, um, I will just uh, give you a high level recap here. What Bezos mentioned in his email uh, was um, all teams will hands, hands for expressing their data to serve interfaces. 
team must communicate with each other through these interfaces. This will not be no other forms of inter-process communications allowed. No direct linking, no direct reads of other team's data store, no shared memory model, no backdoors whatsoever. So only communication allowed is where service interface calls over the network. And only because Amazon began to build this digital operating model from that time, now they're becoming one of the top companies harnessing the power of the data. Uh, some of the use cases I highlighted here is all based on uh, the data, the digital and artificial intelligence infrastructure the company built. For example, their supply chain management, which I will show you a video slightly later, uh, warehouse management, capacity planning, also recommender system uh, that we interact with on a daily basis. All this are based on data and artificial intelligence. Google is the same thing. I remember there was a report uh, many years ago when the Google founder was the CEO at that time. The reporter asked him, uh, is Google a search engine company? And the Google CEO's answer at that time was, no, we're an AI company. We utilize search engine to collect the data. We utilize this data to enhance our artificial intelligence algorithm. And frankly, uh, if you look at other companies listed here, they all adopt this digital operating platform and utilize the data, the power of the data and artificial intelligence to progress. So now let's switch gears a little bit to talk about how NVIDIA technologies are powering up the solutions. As mentioned, NVIDIA started with GPUs. Our GPUs are being utilized on embedded systems, laptops, workstations, all the way to the cloud service. I will give you an idea of what type of GPU we offer. So what you see here is the Jetson family of NVIDIA um, modules. So think about the module as the brain of your AI devices. So this series is called Jetson. Jetson includes a family of modules. Each module combines NVIDIA system on chip SOC. So SOC includes ARM CPU, NVIDIA GPU with memory, power management, connectivity, and IO interfaces. Again, think about these modules as the brain of your edge AI solution. So there are many different brothers as part of this Jetson family. Uh, in the bottom are some existing products shown from left to right with increasing performance and features and capabilities. Jetson Nano is the smallest and the lowest power consumption module in the family. It supports multiple cameras, sensor interfaces, powerful enough to run machine learning networks such as ResNet, mobile net for image classification, segmentation type of use cases. Sorry, I guess I have a timer here in the slide. Uh, Jetson TX2 series is phasing out, but it's expanded the capability of Jetson Nano, which makes it an excellent choice for robots, drones, and intelligent camera type of use cases. Uh, Xavier NX is the replacement module for Jetson uh, TX2. Its form factor is the same as Nano, but it's a much more powerful module. It's capable of running multiple neural networks concurrently, even supports modern complex machine learning model, for example, a BERT base for natural language processing type of use cases. And at the higher end, we have a Jetson AGX Xavier series, um, they can be utilized to power up autonomous system type of application. So in the top row, we have our newest next generation of Jetson product, Jetson Orin. Um, for those who have AI background, you can see the performance we will be able to unleash on top of these Jetson devices from um, like um, Jetson Orin NX provides 100 um, in, so if you use Inter8, it's a uh, hundred tops um, performance. AGX Orin two seventy five Inter8 tops. So there's a really powerful machine. 
So we also announced the latest edition of Ring uh, Nano. And uh, in the, I apologize, I realized I missed the type it here. It's not Ring NX. This one is Ring Nano, which is a smaller factor embedded device. The device will be available early next year. Uh, again, these are only modules, but in real life, people take these modules, design carrier board, and embed them into different systems. So what you see here are different examples of how Jetson family of modules power up different devices. So from robots to autonomous machines to uh, gateway devices. Um, so as far as you want to utilize edge AI solutions without connectivity, uh, Jetson can be a great uh, tool to help you get started with this type of solutions. So these are the embedded GPU. Go from there. We also offers full. We also offer a full range of GPU accelerated data science platform, from GeForce T10 RTX for PCs to enterprise workstations to data centers and cloud GPUs. Again, we support the entire end-to-end -end workflow of your AI application. So this is the hardware part. On top of that. Um, Long, NVIDIA has long ago stopped being just a GPU company. Layers upon the GPU NVIDIA developed and released libraries that software developers and data scientists can use to integrate GPU power in your application. So I will just highlight a couple of them at a platform layer. Uh, we have a CUDA programming model. And uh, um, for uh, Tau is our pre-trained transfer learning. Uh, we uh, package a pre-trained model with our transfer learning toolkit called Tau for natural language processing and intelligent video analytics type of use cases. Tensor RT is for accelerated inference. Triton is for model serving. And the application layer, we also offer a full line of SDKs to support your application development. For example, DeepStream SDK to accelerate intelligent video analytics or image analytics type of application, Riva and Nemo for conversational AI type of use cases, Clara for healthcare, Omniverse is NVIDIA's metaverse solution, which I will spotlight in the next slide. And so given NVIDIA provides the infrastructure for accelerated computing, um, I will highlight Omniverse and some of the other tools. So let's start with Omniverse. Uh, as said, Omniverse is NVIDIA's tool that brings Metaverse to reality. So some confusion here, I want to help you bust the myth. NVIDIA's Metaverse solution is all about industry Metaverse. We don't do like VR, AR type of use cases for consumers. So um, as you can see from the later video and use cases, uh, we only do industry metaverse. So metaverse is probably one of the um, buzzword of the year. It's basically a collection of shared 3D spaces and virtually extended physical spaces. So the reason we wrote out Omniverse is because 3D works flows uh, essentially everywhere in every industry. Historically, 3D tools always have challenges working together. Different workforces use different tools. Sometimes it's really complicated to export and import between different applications. And NVIDIA Omniverse is built upon USD. Universal Scene Description. It's a high performance, extensible software platform for collaboratively constructing animated 3D scenes designed to meet the needs of large scale uh, cooperation and visual effects production. And uh, USD is actually open source too. So NVIDIA's Metaverse Solution Omniverse is built upon USD. Um, so some of the use cases, um, 
media, entertainment, animation, gaming design is definitely one of the top adopter of metaverse solution. Other than that, we began to see more and more people utilizing a media omniverse for architectural construction and design, production design, scientific visualization, um, autonomous vehicle, and the robotics application. So here, I want to show you a video to see how uh, Amazon utilize NVIDIA Omniverse for warehouse management. Every day, hundreds of Amazon facilities handle tens of millions of packages, with more than two-thirds of these customer orders handled by robots. To support this highly complex operation, we deployed hundreds of thousands of mobile drive robots and associated storage pods which allow us to store far more inventory in our buildings than traditional shelving, and which help us move inventory in a safer, more efficient way. Key to the scaling has been our ability to simulate these buildings and understand their performance before we build them. Let's take a look at how NVIDIA Omniverse is helping us optimize and simplify these processes. At Amazon Robotics, we are able to create full-scale digital twins of our warehouses in NVIDIA Omniverse helping us optimize warehouse design, train more intelligent robot assistants, and gain operational efficiencies. In Omniverse, we are uniquely able to aggregate data sets from many different CAD applications and visualize these massive models in full fidelity realism, enabled by Omniverse's RTX accelerated ray tracing, materials, and physics. Digital twins are an integral part of future warehouses and factories, enabling continuous integration and continuous delivery. With each new software and layout optimization, we can test in the digital twin before releasing to the physical warehouse, preventing any system downtime or failure while maximizing operational efficiencies. Next, packages of every shape, size, weight, and material move rapidly through our fulfillment centers. We use NVIDIA Omniverse to better train autonomous robotic sorting and picking solutions. Training these robots' perception systems accurately enough to prevent system failures requires massive amounts of high quality data, but often the data doesn't exist or there isn't enough. When we introduced more reflective tape to our packing materials, the perception systems failed. We retrained the models with physically accurate photoreal synthetic data generated in Omniverse, indistinguishable from reality, saving weeks of retraining time and increasing model accuracy. Finally, with the digital twins of our facilities, and the ability to quickly and accurately train robot perception systems, we can also better configure human robot workstations, simulating opportunities for better employee ergonomics. At Amazon Robotics, NVIDIA Omniverse Digital Twins are helping us as we reimagine warehouse logistics from end to end and capturing significant operational efficiencies, which enable us to deliver more value to our customers. So although NVIDIA Omniverse is new, the technology behind the Omniverse is an uh, accumulation of NVIDIA's 20 plus years experience, including rendering, RTX, 3D simulation, artificial intelligence. So in the video, a lot of the scenes you saw were actually simulated with NVIDIA technology. So we basically create a 3D replica of the real world uh, to help um, Amazon uh, pre-plan uh, their logistics. So if you want to uh, get a taste of Omniverse, here I included some resources for developers to get started. Feel free to check them out. One of the buzzword in 2022 is probably this one generative artificial intelligence. It's different from traditional machine learning in that it can create original content, for example, artwork, music, or even sentences. Generative artificial intelligence has been around since 1960s, but recent development have made it possible to generate text, image more accurate than ever before. So fundamentally, it is an unsupervised or semi-unsupervised machine learning for creative, uh, for creating new content. Uh, like said, 
and it includes but not limited to digital image, video, audio, text, or code. So so far, there are two prominent frameworks for generative artificial intelligence. One is called the Generative Adversarial Network (GAN), and the other one is Generative Pre-trained Transformer (GPT). So I will give some spotlight to GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So GPT is an autoregression language machine learning model based on the transformer architecture. The transformer is an encoder and decoder architecture with a self-attention mechanism. Again, Google online, you will be able to find a lot of information here. So it demonstrates significantly improved accuracy and training performance. Involved from BERT. Um, bidirectional encoder regression uh, re representations from transformers to Robota, uh, GPT-2, TF, and to the latest GPT-3. So when the transformer model uh, first started, the BERT model started with about 110 million parameters. But to give you an idea, the latest GPT-3 model had 175 billion parameters, 96 attention layers, and with one, uh, actually 3.2 million batch sizes. The cost to train the GPT-3 model is roughly 4.6 million US dollars. <laughs> but, you know, because of the size of it, the model, it's highly accurate. So some of the exciting use cases enabled by GPT-3 includes text generation, text summary, text classification, language translation, uh, search, and many, many more. Uh, so let's start from image here. So this is um, uh, something um, new. This one uses a version of GPT-3 modified to generate images. It can combine um, concepts, attributes, and styles to generate more realistic image at higher resolution. So what you see here is what I did last night. Basically, uh, you um, create some random text. It can be something really nonsense, like what I inputted here was a teddy bear, go grocery shopping. So the machine learning model running behind this is called the DALI-2. It's a remarkable text to image generative AI system. Um, based on the text I input, they generate different images. So this is the image part. Um, of course, um, the biggest opportunity in generative AI is language. AI-powered text generation will create many orders of magnitude more valuable than AI-powered image generation. So uh, to power up the language solutions, LMM, which is the large language model, will play a very significant role. So it not only improve current use cases, but also unlock new use cases in text generation, translation, um, coding, and life science as well. NVIDIA recently launched uh, um, what we call NEMO LLM. Uh, it's still in the early access stage right now. But if you want to learn more, you can see some video playback from our uh, repo. So check out some existing technical sessions and a blog post on this topic. It's fascinating. So we still have some time. I really want to show you some of the real life AI use cases powered up by NVIDIA solutions. Let's start with FinTech. So here I'm using a Tunisian uh, startup, Vineuron Risk and uh, Complex. Uh, they utilize NVIDIA technology to power up their Vineuron Risk and the Complex suite. Use cases include natural language processing for a chatbot, documentation search, retrieval, and also they utilize computer vision to do document classification and intelligent recognition. So their solutions have been um, offered to customers spreading across 30 
uh, different countries, lawyers, banks, um, all leverage this solution to do risk management type of use cases. So this is a, a commercial bank, Capital One in the US. Frankly, nine out of the top 10 banks in the US powered up their risk management system utilizing NVIDIA GPUs. So Capital One is one of the largest banks in the US. They were on the mission to modernize its data analytics platform. They use a cloud native platform that supported a wide variety of open source technologies, including utilizing NVIDIA accelerated data science tool and desk to scale computation horizontally and vertically on NVIDIA GPUs. Because of they migrated their solution from CPU to GPU, the model training time improved by roughly a hundred times. And of course, this results in a cost saving. So this one, uh, many of you are familiar, uh, InstaDeep Tunisian startup, they have a they're part of uh, NVIDIA's startup program. They really grow their use cases on NVIDIA GPUs and the different technologies. So what I show here is a natural language processing use cases. Uh, we know that Arabic is one of the largest uh, language out there, uh, has over uh, 330 million speakers. So natural language processing use cases powered by by NVIDIA GPUs and our software solutions made this possible to train large machine learning models for natural language processing use cases. So let's move on to healthcare and life science. So this is an Egyptian uh, company, Proteine. Uh, they utilize NVIDIA GPU and also our software for protein design and drug discovery. In this use cases, um, in this use case, they utilize NVIDIA GPU, again, because of the parallel computing provided by NVIDIA GPU, um, the machine learning model training time was reduced from one week to roughly one day. And in the meantime, they utilize NVIDIA uh, computation chemistry enabled software solutions to uh, do drug discovery. This is an edge use case. Uh, in this use case, a Jetson AGX Xavier powered neural imaging device is used for stroke recognition. So the customer who developed this solution is called EM Vision. So what you see here is a portable brain scanner that can be used in environments where CT or MRI may not be accessible. So once the doctor scans the patient's brain, an image is generated by leveraging electromagnetic waves on the microwave spectrum. Then the image is enhanced with a neural network running on the Jetson device. The algorithm also provides diagnostic decision support to the doctor. So here is a life science use case. Genome sequencing is the process of identifying the DNA sequence of anything biological, including animal, food, water, plants, air. So it's a very important step towards better scientific understanding. So Minion is a rapid analysis device uh, for nanopore DNA sequencing. It's basically this tiny device you see here. This is powered by NVIDIA Jetson module. As you can see, by leveraging our module, they designed their own carrier board and hardware to enable real-time high-throughput data analysis. So because this little device, Minion, is the only portable real-time device for DNA and RNA sequencing, uh, scientists were able to carry it to any locations to test crops, animals, or drinking water for early detection and prevention of diseases or bacteria. So some logistic uh, use cases. Um, Warma, as mentioned, Warma is one of the biggest retailers out there. It has over 11,000 stores worldwide. 
and uh, uh, their data science team must predict the demand for 500 million items by store combination every single week. Traditionally, the workload took them roughly four days to process. They, uh, uh, it took them three days to train the machine learning model and the machine learning inference part uh, took roughly 12 hours. So by migrating their workflow to NVIDIA GPU and NVIDIA Accelerated Data Science 2, the full workflow can be finished within one day. Okay, let's move on to agri-tech and conservation. So um, startup, uh, South African startup aerobotics um, is a well-known startup in Africa in the agri-tech space. Um, they have been utilizing NVIDIA GPUs and our software solutions for precision farming. So their machine learning models are trained on NVIDIA GPUs in the AWS cloud instance. For machine learning model inference, they use the NVIDIA Jetson family devices. Couple of use cases, uh, last year they actually pilot Jetson powered drones to do aerial image capturing. And they're migrating the solution to infield devices for tree counting, fruit counting, and also fruit size estimation. Here's another use case, uh, beekeeping. Beekeeping is a major economic activity in Africa as well. I spend a lot of time in Kenya this year. Uh, there are a lot of bee farms in uh, Kenya, but parasite infection, rodent invasion, even haste are causing significant loss to local bee farms. So, and also because all these bee farms are normally located at remote locations, farmers cannot rely on wire solution to respond to this instance in a timely manner. So in the solution, uh, sensors and the cameras are linked to NVIDIA Jetson uh, powered embedded device. They collect the data such as weight, humidity, temperature, bee population in order to assess hive health. And also NVIDIA accelerated inference engine Tensor RT is being used here to optimize computer vision algorithm uh, running locally on the Jetson device to quickly identify infected bees. So if anomalies are detected, system can trigger a remote alert to the beekeepers for potential infestation, and they can react immediately. So here is another quick video I want to show you. This is utilize NVIDIA Intelligent Video Analytics tool for precision farming. Let me pause here. I think I'm running out of time. So a few more use cases I want to show you. Industry use cases. Autonomous driving. Again, this is an Egyptian startup, uh, Bright Skies. They're utilizing NVIDIA um, GPUs in their autonomous system for autonomous driving type of use cases. Right now, we can reach level three, uh, self-driving taxi. Um, and uh, this one has been tested in... Uh, Saudi, um, we do have a self-driving taxis running in different parts of the world. So the next one is also an omniverse-related use case for future factory digital twin. BMW has continued building on the momentum of their Factory of the Future initiative we showed you earlier this year. On average, they produce one new vehicle every minute, expanding the initiative to now include digital twin projects at three additional factories, which total more than 6 million square meters. 
Meeting BMW's demands for continuous improvement and innovation requires simulation of complex production scenarios to speed output, increase agility, and optimize efficiency everywhere. NVIDIA Omniverse introduces new simulation capabilities everywhere BMW needs to make critical decisions and introduce automation. BMW and their partners have also been connecting new users and tools to expand the Omniverse ecosystem. Spanning every aspect of the BMW factory of the future, Omniverse allows BMW to collaborate and simulate from the entire plant level down to comprehensive engineering detail. Great. I think that this help you, uh, helps you uh, better understand what Omniverse provides. Yeah, so to conclude here, uh, I hope uh, you find today's session helpful. Uh, you know, if you want to learn more about NVIDIA technology, uh, just join our developer program as an NVIDIA developer. You will be updated with the latest news, uh, blog post, success stories. So feel free to scan the QR code or just go to developer.nvidia.com to sign up. With that, I will conclude my today's presentation. Thank you all. Okay. okay, before questions, thank you so much, Wei, for this enlightened, uh, enlightened talk. It had uh, rightly stressed the need of dedicating ourselves for our interests in order to bring great, uh, remarkable improvements to it. Thank you so much for this, for this presentation. It was thank amazing. You. Thank We've you. We've learned a lot. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, now, if you allow, please, we move to the questions. And uh, for our dear participants, uh, we shared with you the link uh, way I gave you. And here we start with the first question. Mm -hmm. I will... Uh, there is... Uh, uh, Yunus, he said, would you please explain to us the uh, presence of NVIDIA in Edge ML regarding to its fast growth? Uh, absolutely. Edge AI machine learning is one of the sectors that I see significant growth just because, you know, um, let me put it this way. Data is generated at the edge at a, fire, a higher and a higher frequency. So in order to, instead of sending the data to the cloud to process, I began to see more and more use cases that we process the data at the very edge. Uh, I will use autonomous driving as an example here. The car has to make a life critical decisions for the driver for the passage within a millions of seconds. So you cannot rely on algorithms running on the cloud side to do that. So uh, your uh, the other example, your mobile phone is capable of doing machine learning. For example, your face unlock feature is implemented by an algorithm running on the device. And there is a new sector here called Tiny ML. Um, it's an um, effort started roughly three years ago, basically running machine learning models on battery powered sensors and edge devices. Um, and uh, frankly, a, a lot of examples, real life use cases around us already. Uh, one example on top of my mind, um, earbuds. The latest version of Bluetooth earbuds all have tiny machine learning models running in it for noise cancellation. So frankly, I began to see the convergence between edge computing, edge AI, as well as tiny ML. Basically, um, developers utilize tiny ML applications for wake up detection, then transfer the heavier workload to the main CPU and the GPU for processing. I hope this address your question. Great, it makes sense. Thank you so much for answering the first question. Uh, uh, now moving to the second one, Yunus also asked you if uh, about the uh, using of quantum computing in machine mm -hmm. learning computations. Uh, 
Yeah, quantum computing is everywhere. I have to admit, I'm not an expert here, but NVIDIA does offer quantum computing solutions. It's called Cool Quantum. So if you Google Cool Quantum, basically CU Quantum, you can find more information. Okay, thank you so much mm -hmm. for providing this information. Yeah. Um, moving to the next question, if you allow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, is there a big demand for uh, CUDA programming in the industry and big <laughs> companies? Very good question. Wherever you need a GPU, you need a CUDA. CUDA is the programming model that transfers the workload from CPU to GPU. And once the computation is done on the GPU side, CUDA will help you transfer the workload back to CPU. So CUDA is the layer interfaces between NVIDIA software and the hardware. So as far as you use NVIDIA GPU, CUDA is playing the role in between. Uh, all the software solutions, all the SDKs NVIDIA offers uh, sit on top of CUDA. The reason okay. we come up with this high-level application SDKs is for people who do not want to drill down into the hardware level. So CUDA takes care of everything. So CUDA is not a pro is a programming model. It's not a programming language. You can still utilize programming languages that you are familiar with, like I mentioned, C, C++, Python, to program. CUDA comes in the format of a couple of keywords. So as far as the code are within the scope of the keyword, they can be offloaded to the GPU side for parallel computing. And the, once the computation is done, they will be automatically transferred back to the CPU. CUDA is the most downloaded SDK and the software framework that NVIDIA offers. Great, this is fascinating. Thank you yeah. so much for your answer. Uh, okay, moving to the last question, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, he asks is, uh, if uh, there are students' programs to practice NVIDIA tools on the clouds. Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, I would suggest you start with NVIDIA Deep Learning Institute. Let me see if I can share the link here. We uh, offer a uh, lot of uh, free courses as part of the Deep Learning Institute. Okay. Uh, by the way, you can write the link in the private chat and I can uh, share it with them. Uh, let me see. Sorry. Um, private Here chat. Oh, got you. Okay. okay. So there you go. Sure. Okay. So Thank this you. This is the link that uh, we can share with the audience here. Uh, okay. So NVIDIA Deep Learning Institute is our institute that provides both self-learning courses as well as instructor-led workshops. Uh, as you can see here, a lot of self-based workshops uh, courses, they're entirely free. Um, so every single workshop, uh, or I should say every single self-paced course includes uh, NVIDIA GPU-powered AWS cloud instance, which means uh, you can run the Jupyter Notebook we prepared for you step-by-step step to familiarize yourself as NVIDIA GPU, to familiarize yourself with different SDKs we offer. And for longer courses, um, a couple of them offer um, uh, certificates as well. So once you finish the homework, you will be able to get a certificate. Actually, this is go, very interesting. Yeah. Actually, to go along with this, I want to mention one thing. Uh, as part of the DLI program, I believe uh, we have uh, many technical leads here as well. So let me post another link. Sure. Yes. Um, yeah. So this one, um, we offer ambassador program uh, as part of the Deep Learning Institute. So once you Great. become an ambassador, you are qualified to utilize your knowledge, your expertise to train other audiences to train the broader community. Yeah, Algeria, I believe many of you know Abdagani, who is our featured DLI ambassador. He has been conducting a lot of live deep learning institute workshops. So uh, for those who are inspired, who want to provide training to other members, you can apply for the ambassador program as well. 
So as far as you pass uh, the technical interview, uh, you are qualified to become one of uh, NVIDIA's trainers. So the process, if you want to learn a little bit more, now we're doing a cohort style training. So um, a cohort starts on the first day of every single month. Uh, you need to submit your resume, your training plan in order to be evaluated. So it's an on ongoing base. So if you're interested, you can submit your application anytime. Uh, it's included in the second link I shared. Great. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I shared the, the two links with the, our audience. Thank you. Thank you so much. There is the last question, I guess, we will be treating in this session. Sure. Uh, here's the question. He said, uh, well, where am I here? He said, uh, where is uh, the energy from all of this? I mean, the economic economy or efficiency? Efficiency. Energy from economic or efficiency. Uh, I'm, yeah, if you can share more context here. So um, let, let me try to uh, address your question here. Let me know this is what you're thinking. So uh, as machine learning models is getting larger and larger, like the GPT-3 model I shared, 170, 175 billion parameters, uh, NVIDIA researchers set up 1,000 uh, higher end NVIDIA GPUs and the full machine learning model training process took over a month. So you can think about, um, you know, without the GPU, this is not possible. So from an efficiency perspective, just because the parallel computing power unleashed by NVIDIA GPU, uh, we're able to um, significantly improve the algorithm, the accuracy of the algorithm, the scale of the algorithm. Um, I guess the other um, dynamic you are asking here is energy saving, right? <laughs> like if we utilize the GPU. Uh, so from an energy saving perspective, uh, again, I don't think I have the data in front of me. That's a very good question, but NVIDIA is trying to provide green solutions so compared to traditional uh, CPU solutions, just because um, our GPUs are power efficiency, uh, offers a higher degree of power efficiency, you're actually saving money by leveraging the parallel computing power compared to other solutions. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for answering this question and all the, the other questions. Mm -hmm. I think we have reached the end of this talk. Uh, thank you so much, uh, we Xiao, for your talk, for your uh, answers. We really appreciate and we're honored to have you today. Thank you. It's my honor to be here. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you. All. Yeah, it really was. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank uh, you. So we have reached the uh, the end of our sessions. I would like to uh, close today's talks. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time and patience. We are overwhelmed to your splendid response. You showed such an energy and motivation. We appreciate your valuable time and patience you have shown today. Additionally, I would like to thank uh, our guests for giving their valuable time and sparkle our event. Thank you. We have uh, this concluded today's talks and uh, see you in tomorrow's. <laughs>